Hi everyone, um, I've got a new special guest today. I've got Cardinal George Pell here. So, oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> so, um, I'm not even gonna fucking. I'm not even answering you. <laughs> so, Georgie, um, that guy's a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> not, yeah, he How, is. don't fucking start the podcast <laughs> by calling me George Pell, you piece of death. Uh, how are you, Mitch? Fucking angry now. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the. I, I got him mixed up. Um, they just look so similar. We've actually got. I've actually got Mitch as my guest today instead of Cardinal George Bell. <laughs> You're a fucking no, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're the worst, dude. Uh, um. So. <laughs> I've actually got Mitch here. We, uh, we've got Mitch. That dude is human garbage. Mitch has got me here today, and we're doing the podcast. How are you, Mitch? Well, I was good, and then you angered me, <laughs> and now I'm calming down. Yeah, well, no, it's all right. Three years in prison will do you well, I reckon. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't a, believe that's all I got. I know, it's ridiculous. It's horrifying. It? It's absurd. So, um, what's been happening? Well, uh, we have gee. We have 6% of battery left on the recording device, and for some reason it's not charging now. Probably because my charging cord is all frayed and horrible, but... Sometimes if you just... Yeah, that no, I, that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to wiggle with it. This is good podcasting. People fiddling with the charging cord, and it's probably going to cut out halfway through. <laughs> it's awesome. Sometimes you can wedge something under it. Yeah. And it'll... I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. But, um... Stop playing with my cord, Mitch. No, I have to. It's not going to work. It's fine. Okay. It'll be fine. Do six, six... Six percent is fine. All right, that'll get us good. That'll get us It's through. an Apple recording device. So it's fine. Yeah, we are really high tech with this yeah, podcast. Exactly. I oh, know it's saying on the screen low battery. Is it got battery saving mode? I don't know. Battery saving mode probably won't allow us. Probably doesn't want to record stupid podcasts. Fair. Um, have you done anything fun lately? Uh, no supermarket encounters. Uh, I did go to the supermarket, but I didn't see any freaks. Oh, okay. Normally, there's a lot of freaks at Cooper Up Supermarket, but um, yeah. I must have been on a freak freak free day. Oh, there you go. You know what's good? What's really good and interesting about this podcast? What's Brad's that? Brad's not on it. Oh, thank so, God! So much better without Brad on yeah, it. Yeah, so sorry. About that guy. <laughs> yeah, I really apologise for that. It's, it's you know. Um, the thing is, he comes in with his chest out, saying how strong he is. It's worked in arm <laughs> wrestles. You know, having Brad on the podcast, I just want to apologise up front for it. Um, we should have probably warned you. You know when people will do helpful things for special needs people and that sort of stuff. Make was, a Wish. Yeah, Make a, a Wish. Make a wish it, was, it was a Make a Wish podcast, basically, for Brad. So He's but, um, actually dying of leprosy, so we need to <laughs> just, you know... That's that's why he's not a chef anymore, because bits kept falling in the soup. So, um, well, when he lost his ear in the... You know, when he lost his ear in that, um, you know, that soup, he was, it was all over. It was a big, a big moment in his life, too. It was, the, you know, the, the food... <laughs> The restaurant, the restaurant reviewer from the Herald Sun was right. there, and well, never mind. Instead of going down this rabbit hole, how about myself and Cardinal George Pell do the quiz? Number one, um, can you stop saying I'm <laughs> Cardinal George Pell? <laughs> but it's so much fun. No, it's not fun. It's disgusting. Number one, Comorian, and which other two languages are the official languages of the Comoros? True. <laughs> Sounds like a science fiction thing. Comorian and which other two languages are the official languages of the Comoros? Comoros or Comoros? Are they people or are they... Uh, I don't know. They might be people. Like... They might be islands. They might be a type of car. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I'm going to say Portuguese and Spanish. It sounds South American to me. I will go with Danish and English. Oh, Interesting. Let me have a look. Arabic and French. Neither of us were anywhere near. <laughs> oh, I should really say, hello, Sad Party. We oh, did yeah, the quiz. This is Sad Party. We did the Herald Sun quiz. We've we already did done ha- question one, sorry. Yeah, we've already done question one. And this one is from, wow, this is from way back in time, October 15th, 2018. That's a long time ago. That is a long time ago. It's given me a lot of time to go and study the answers. <laughs> um, so neither of us got that one. That we no. were terrible on that. Number two. The 1970s sci-fi novel Ringworld is one of the best-known novels by which author? Well, it can't be that well-known if we don't know it. 
But it's not saying it's a well-known novel. It's saying the best-known novel by that author. Who's the author? That's what we're trying to work out. <laughs> and what's the novel called? <laughs> Ringworld. And it's from 1970. And it's a sci-fi novel. Uh, R.L. Stein. He wrote Goosebumps. Yes. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't really know. I have no idea. Let me have a look. Larry Niven. Sorry, Larry Niven. Have you ever heard of Larry Niven? No. I haven't either. Number three. Who preceded Kim Jong-un as leader of North Korea? Who preceded him? Uh, that means before. Yes, I know that. <laughs> uh, it was Kim Jong... It was Kim Jong... Oh, no, no. It was Kim, Kim Jong... Some other short... Like, un, but something different. Yeah. Kim Jong... Uh, You're getting there. Yeah, I know. Right? It's Kim Jong something. Yeah. But I don't know what that is. Picture if he was a Beastie Boys rapper. No. <laughs> I don't know. License to Kim Jong Il. Oh. Kim Jong Il? Yeah, it's Kim Jong Il. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll give you that one. Because I know that you knew it. Kim Jong, yeah. Kim no, Jong Il. I know that you knew it. You're just too stupid to think of it. That's the difference. So. It was a big deal. He was a big deal. And then Kim Jong Un was a big deal. Yeah. I love I was listening to Tofop podcast this morning and they were talking about Kim Jong il and he's one of those ones like a Chuck Norris sort of thing, but serious where all of his um all of the people in North Korea believed particular facts about him. Yeah, because they used to spread like yeah, things that yeah, like he propaganda was, and he was like the fastest r- runner in a hundred. And meters one was and... that his body is so optimized for digesting food and drink that he never has to poo or wee. That's <laughs> that's one of the things. And it was <laughs> when he was in university, in five years in university he wrote was it he wrote 300 books or 600 books or something like so that. That's insane amount. As well as composing six award-winning orchestras or something <laughs> like that. Oh, jeez. That, that's why... I back- can throw a disc as further than anyone. Exactly. So, I, th- I think it'd be fun being a dictator. <laughs> oh, man. It'd be epic. Yeah, with all the... Just the silly propaganda. Let's get one. I think it sounds like fun. Well, we were talking about that on the last one. We were. I, I suggested I Dr. Carl. Yeah, yeah. He's not my... He's not your He's not my number one choice. choice. Who would be your... He's quite smart. I mean, I'll give him that. Well, send us an email. Sadpartypodcast yeah, who would you like as a Yeah. Who would you like as the, the dictator ruling overlord of Australia? Uh, one three hundred sad party. If you want to call in right now. Uh, well, I reckon... I'm still going with Dr. Carl. I think Dr. Carl. Yeah, I'm trying to think of who would be good. I think like a... Um, they have to be Australian too. Yeah. Uh, I figure if they're going to be the dictator of Australia... Yeah. Maybe like Mitch Warren would be pretty good. Nah, Mitch would be terrible. Rule with an iron fist, though. No, I wouldn't. I would let you do whatever you want. Rule with a stinky fist. (laughs) (laughs) Number four! The grand... Maybe like a... Oh, Steve Irwin would be a great dictator, but unfortunately he's not with us anymore. But like someone like that would be good. Number four. The Grand Premio Bruno Bagelli is an annual road bike race held in which country? I'm guessing Italy. You're going to have to go again. What? With the whole question. I didn't listen. The Grand Premio Bruno Bagelli is an annual road bicycle race held in which country? San Marino. You reckon? Go on. I reckon it's Italy, but you've said Italy, so I'm going to San Marino. I'm going Italy. Let's have a look. Italy! Oh, God damn it. Ha. Number five. Walter O'Brien is one of the main characters in which TV series? Breaking Bad? No, no that's Walter White. I think it's Dennis the Menace. Was he Walter O'Brien? Oh. No, it was Walter Matthau played the old guy in Dennis the Menace. That's why I'm thinking Walter. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. No, I don't know either. Um, Scorpion. Oh, that's right. The nerdy show with nerds. Scorpion? Yeah. It's a good concept, but a terrible show. Like a Third Rock from the Sun type thing? Third Rock from the Sun's awesome. I haven't really seen it much for, watch for it, a long time. Watch it now. It's worth it. It's really good. Has it got Screech? No, it's um, Saved by the Bell. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. A little bit different. Same but... guy though, isn't it? No. Yeah. I don't know. I've never seen Saved by the Bell. Oh. <laughs> Number six. 
The kroon was the official currency of which country before the euro? Kroon, K-R-O-O-N. Krona was Denmark, but the kroon... Norway? It sounds like one of those North Dogs. It's a North Dog. It's a North Dog. It's got to be. Can we go with Iceland? I'm going to say Iceland. Okay. So you're saying, what did you say? Norway. Norway. Yeah, well, Estonia. Ah. I sort of forget that Estonia is a country. Feels like a destination. A mate of mine went there and rode in, um, I think it's a simple session, BMX comp. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he went there and rode in that and did quite well. Um, number seven. Which team defeated Aston Villa 12-0 in the opening round of the 2018-2019 FA Women's Championship? That's soccer, yeah? I actually have no idea. 12-0 is massive. In yeah, so I think the other team probably must have turned up. Uh, I'll go Manchester. Manchester? I'm going to say I have no idea. Oh, Manchester. Good hey. work, Mitch. Yeah, dog. Number eight. That makes up for my Italy San Marino question. <laughs> in 1970, which duo had a hit with the song Close to You? Um, I know the song. Do you know the song? I don't know the song. Sing it. Um, I'm not a very good singer, but it's. I like, know that, but yeah. I want to be close to you. You know that song? <laughs> no! You do. You know that song. I have no that. idea what song you're singing there. Uh, I don't know the Cindy Lauper and uh, Barry White. Cindy Lauper in 1970? And Barry White. Barry White, maybe, but. Combo. I wouldn't think Cindy Lauper back then. Um, I'm thinking Lionel Richie and someone. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Keith Urban and Lionel Richie. <laughs> Keith Urban, alright. Keith Urban and Lionel Richie. The Carpenters. I don't know who the carpenters um, are. All right. Like no. knock up a house frame pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> the chippies. Um, true or false? Mars is larger than Uranus. False. I'm going to say false too, because it's definitely false. Don't even need to check that one. Number 10. Who won the Best Actor Oscar for his performance in the 2007 movie There Will Be Blood? That sounds... 2007 sounds a bit late for it, but that sounds like a like a Jean Claude Van Damme thing or something. Yeah, like a um, <laughs> Jason Jason Statham sort of. Yeah. I mean, but he always plays that one bald hitman, doesn't he? He's always a bald hitman. That's his job. It's like all he does every yeah. time. Every movie is a hitman, and they just except one time he's a mechanic. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no idea. There will be blood. Sylvester Stallone? No, I don't know of a Sylvester Stallone movie. Don't know. I watched a Sylvester Stallone movie the other night. Did you? Watch Creed. Oh, okay. Was it any good? Um, I think it was alright. Mm. I can't. One get... of those movies where it finishes and you walk away and you're like, uh... yeah, I don't. Yeah. I wasn't that sold on it. I don't really think because it's sort of like this kid, right? Creed's son, mm. and he gets like a he fights one guy and then gets a title fight against this guy and then he beats him. Oh, okay. oh no, he doesn't win, he doesn't win oh, okay. He nearly wins and then the guy gets saved by the bell or whatever And then he doesn't win But he... I thought Screech, that's the thing with Screech in it that you were talking about Creed Huh? Saved by the bell Oh shit <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah maybe I, I wasn't so, yeah. watching Creed Yeah, oh you're watching Third Rock from the Sun No, Saved by the Bell Yeah, that's what I said Who's Screech? In Third Rock from the Sun. Screech isn't in Third Rock from the Sun. Yeah, he is. He's, no, he's Third Rock from the Sun's got the guy from um, Cliffhanger in it. Yeah, Dennis Leary. No. Dennis Leary? Yeah. He's such an asshole. He is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10. He always parks in handicapped faces. Who won the Best Actor Oscar for his performance in the 2007 movie The World? So we're back. Um, Are we? Yep. Yeah. The, the recording device ran out of um, electricities. Because I had been swapping around different charges, trying to get it to charge, and it wouldn't charge. And it turns out it was my extension lead that was actually cactus. So now I've got a big, heavy-duty 15-amp extension lead that I use for the welder and that sort of stuff. So I've got that running in, charging my phone now. We're recording the rest of this on my phone because everything else is flat. So, yeah, so um, enjoy the great uh, audio quality that we're going to be yeah, running with here. It'll probably be the best sounding one that we've done. <laughs> so we'll be bolting this one onto the end of the other one. So we'll just pick up where we left off. 
Um, we were ranting about... Like Italy's bolted onto the bottom of Europe. Exactly. Same it's, thing. It's Europe's noodle. Um, we were talking about Best Actor Oscar for 2007 movie There Will Be Blood. Neither of us knew it. It's actually Daniel Day-Lewis. I wouldn't have I guessed that. I don't even that. know who Daniel Day-Lewis is. He's a cobbler. Huh? Yeah. He's an actor that also does... A bit of side cobble. Side, he's, got a, he's got a side cobble going <laughs> on. <laughs> he's definitely... Yeah, so um, apparently he's really, really strange, but in between making movies, he played Abraham Lincoln in Lincoln and that sort of stuff. Is that the one where he's fighting vampires? No, not that one. The real Abraham Lincoln oh, movie. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in between, he likes to make shoes. So. Oh, good on him. Number 11. Which cosmetics brand uses the slogan, because you're worth it? Maybelline. I think No, we've... that was, maybe she's born with it. It's another slogan. Oh. Another company. Who says, because you're worth it? Is it Revlon? I can picture the chicks in the ad going, because you're worth it. But they sound a bit more seductive than me saying it to you. Well, yeah, no, nah, it doesn't sound great. Because you're worth it. Because you're worth it, mate. You're worth it, mate. Well, um, you're worth it. Oh, would you go Revlon? I think Revlon. Oh, I looked at the answer just then, and it's not Revlon. I'm wrong, so I'll still let you pick it. So there's Maybelline, Revlon, there's um, Palmolive. It's not the Oil of Olay. Olay. Uh, you going with Oil of Olay? No. There's, I... there's an ad on TV. Now that I've seen the answer, I can actually picture the ad, but that's not helping you right now. No, it's <laughs> not. Unless we do some sort of... I don't, I I'm not going to sign one. language it to you. Nah, I'm going to go with... Uh, because you're worth it. God damn it, as soon as you going to say it... Yeah, I know. You're going to get annoyed. Is it Tresemme? No. I don't know. L'Oreal. L'Oreal. Yeah. So, neither of us got it. Alright. Number 12. This You might get this one. As at 2018, who has been the only person to win the Lee Matthews Trophy five times? So, Lee Matthews is a footy player. Yeah. The Lee Matthews Medal... Trophy. Trophy. Someone's be... won it five times. Could be a best and fairest for a team, maybe. The Lee Matthews Trophy. So I'm going to go maybe... Because it was pretty big at the Hawthorne. So I might even go with Shane Crawford. Okay. Well, I have no idea. So I just looked at the answer then. It's Gary Ablett Jr. Yeah, right. So I don't know what that is like regarding. I met him once and he was a really, really nice person. Gary Ablett Jr.? I met Gary Ablett Jr. once. Where? At a pub in Torquay about probably 12 years ago. I was down at Torquay and I was at a pub and I was, obviously I don't drink, so I was up at the bar getting a glass of water or something like that. And everyone kept talking to this guy and saying hi to this guy. And I started talking to him and he seemed like a really nice was guy. He, pro, he wasn't pro by then, was he? He'd, I think he'd started playing footy. How long ago? Like 12 years ago. And, um, oh yeah, probably right. But yeah. anyway, I said to him, I go... You're like, how come everyone knows you? You're neighbours or something like that. And he goes, no, I play footy. Like, okay. I, I go, what's your name? He goes, Gary Ablett. I go, dude, Gary Ablett's like 50. And he just laughs. laughs. He goes, that's my dad. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know there was a son. I don't know anything about footy. But yeah. um, I was talking to him for a good probably five minutes or so. He's probably really refreshed that you weren't like trying to blow him for playing footy. Oh, I was trying to blow him. But, <laughs> but no, he was, um, he was a really, really nice dude. And I spoke to him for about five minutes and... I'm all for Gary Ablett Jr. I know yeah, nothing about footy. Him. Let, him kick, let him kick his bloody... Have you seen... Pill through the goals. That image compilation going around of all the different Gary Ablets? It's got like Gary Tablet and Gary Slablet, Gary Crablet and that sort no. of stuff. It's one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I might use that as the image for this... Um, what is it? Image compilation of yeah, different Gary Ablett? Different photoshops of Gary Ablett. But I'm going to Google it on your phone right now. Oh, your phone's just about flat. Why have we got no electricity on anything at all tonight? I don't um, know. I won't do it on that one. No, I think we're in like that. an electricity black hole. I think we are. I hope we are. So that means hopefully no one ever gets to listen <laughs> to this podcast. Well, um, but I'll put that picture as the picture for this one. Yeah, that'd be good. On the podcast. On, on the be, Facebook. It'd be worth it. And um, Oh yeah, give us a like on Facebook as well. We've got Sad Party Podcast on Facebook. Yeah. If yeah, do that. Has. Yeah, I don't think anyone do... really cares. You know the video. More people do Facebook than um than email. 
Yeah, I'll the video it. of um, me and Brad arm wrestling on YouTube is one of the most watched YouTube videos of Sad Party at the moment. I don't know why. Is Maybe... it it's the only one? No. I, oh, I don't even tell you. I've been putting the audio of this... Just with a holding image just on YouTube. because And we, people all listen to it on YouTube. Really? But yeah, don't know why they do. I think one day we should actually do a video of this. Like film it? Yeah, but we're both really ugly, so... We don't look great. <laughs> Especially at 10 o'clock at night. Nah, me. I... But, um, yeah, so anyway, um, send us an email. Follow, get Mitchell... Man, I look really good send at Mitch, like Send five. Mitch some messages on the social media about how much of a creep he is, so... When I'm leaving my house at five in the morning, I think when it's dark and dimly lit... Yeah. That's when I look the best. Yeah. I look better when I'm in a cave with a hood over my head. <laughs> <laughs> or in a dark alley somewhere. <laughs> exactly. Um, so... Yeah, send us an email, do whatever you want to do, get get in touch with us and come on the stupid podcast. Oh yeah, I'll just do some quick um, jock spruiking. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, <Sorry>. jock shill. <laughs> get our resident jock shill here. <laughs> so yeah, just um, just quick, uh, psdunderwear.com.au, um, if you want some new underwear, I see too many people walk around with Monday, Wednesday, Friday on the wrong days and all sorts of weird So I don't shit. understand what you're talking about with Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You know, um, you buy like, you go to Target or whatever and you buy like underwear in a pack and it has like Monday on oh, the band. People I do that. I just bro. don't wear jocks. It's free That's ball. so weird, you free ball. I don't wear pants either. I'm sitting behind this table now. You can't actually see me right that's now. That's why the cloth came in. <laughs> Have a look under the table, Mitch. I refuse. Look under the table, Mitch. <laughs> no, uh, Mitch 2020 is the discount code for 20% off. I will not look under the table.